In the last session, I promised to show you how you can scale from the center. So I have just saved the tile part here. And now we should build a scaling from the center here. Easiest way to see it is just drag the UV to the surface and then you can see that we have the center now in the left lower corner and we would like it to be up here. And normally we just add a subtract and a multiply. We can do almost the same. So converter vector math put in a subtract and we go to 0 0.5 we go to 0 0.5 here. But instead of using a multiply, we will use a scale here. So Shift D, and we put in a scale like this. And as you remember, to get tiles, we also need a fraction. So Shift D, and we add a fraction like so. So now we have it. It looks a bit strange here, and that is because this is like half numbers. To get the complete number, meaning 0 to 1, you need to go up to 2 here. And now we have 0 to 1. But we don't have it in the center. Since a fraction is destroying uh, the center part here, we instead get it from 0 to 1, 0 to 1. Instead of 0, uh, minus 1, 0, 1, we now get 0 to 1, 0 to 1, because of a fraction. So that means that we need to rebuild it once more here. So those two steps we have to do here, but instead of scale, we use multiply, because this is what will decide scale. You can say now that we now uh, scale from the center here, which is what we wanted. So if I put that at 2, just as a starting point, then we add a subtract here, as I said, so let's copy this one, Shift D, put it in here. And now we also need a multiply, so Shift D and a multiply of 2. And now it looks OK. Uh, the only thing is now to use an absolute, so this will be transformed into positive values as well. So let's take the multiply and then use an absolute. And now you recognize it since the starting point when we started to do tiles earlier. So after that it's more or less just to add a tile part that I saved up here. So I can just take the absolute, put that into the tile part and as I said before it's in the chapter that was before this one. So if you don't have it just go back one chapter or look closely right now. Subtract with two, separate, smooth minimum and you can control the roundness of the tiles here. So that is how it works. Uh, I put that to the surface and now you can see almost nothing. That is a bit strange here. Uh, so let's see where, yes, here. You may need to put the subtract in the bottom here. So we have one at the top, of course. Now it looks okay. So now I can see what I'm doing. I was a little bit afraid. Okay, so now we have it. And if you scale, you can see now that we have two tiles. Two tiles, that's correct. But when we scale now, it scales from the center. So it doesn't scale here. That means it gets a bit weird when we use one, because this is one, but this is in, since it is in the center, it's not like one tile here in the center. The tile is like the edge part here. So it works with two and it works with four, but with three you get half of the tiles up here. So as I said, uh, often it's better to go from this corner here, but in some cases, in some patterns, now I'm using tiles because that is what I built here since it's very easy to do, but in some patterns it's better to scale in the center and then this is how you do it. So you do a subtract, that is moving. We, we learned about moving in the last chapter and we all always start with the moving. So we move to the center, put in the scale with fraction, we got zero to one, and then we needed to move that so we get uh, zero, one, zero on each tile. So then we uh, did this once more that we had in the beginning. And then we get our tiles and now 
we have the scale from the center and also five minutes. So see you in the next chapter. Bye for now.